What's up guys? Today I'm going to do a complete overview of the Nitro Z19. Um, just kind of, I'm going to run through everything on the outside, hop them in the boat, show you guys. I've got all my gear in it, so I'll show you guys how I set up my compartments and hopefully help you guys decide if you want a boat like this or not. So uh, starting out with the outside of the boat, with the back, we got the Mercury Pro XS, 200 horse. Um, this motor, guys, is insane. It is, well, first of all, on startup, sounds absolutely amazing. I've only taken it out one time, um, and I'm still in the break-in period on the motor, but startup sounds amazing, and after that, it is the quietest motor you will ever, ever have. I mean, for a 200, this thing is extremely quiet, and it's great, honestly. Um, and then also on the back here, we've got the ride buckles. That way you never have to throw those in your truck. It's just a hassle to have to take those off every time, put them in the truck. It's really easy like this. Um, and then we've also got the side scan, the hummingbird side scan, which is really nice. Um, jack plate. I don't, I honestly don't even know the size of this jack plate, but it's a manual jack plate, not a hydraulic one. But that's okay. Um, in the back here, we've also got our charger, charging port. Oh, focus up here. We're charging the boat, which I'll show you guys the deal in there in a minute. Also, your anchor lights back here, or your nav lights. No, I believe the anchor lights back here and the nav lights are up front. Um, tandem axle trailer, which I think is normal i don't know if you can get the 19 in a single axle i know you can get the z18 in a single axle but either way this was my preferred because uh for long traveling i just feel like it's a smoother pull and a little more safe you know if you're doing long travels i also got the spare tire on the front but it's nice to have two axles um for many reasons then up here we've got the breakaway tongue which is really nice um, for storing in the garage. It also has your step here and a step to get up in the boat with a handlebar here. Really nice. So, you know, those cold days, fishing late fall, early spring, water's pretty cold. You don't have to worry about that. Getting in the water if you're wearing long pants or whatever. Also got the keel guard underneath here. Comes fa uh, factory installed, I guess. So that's really nice. I don't know the actual brand of that, but very nice keel guard. And then we've got the Minn Kota Ultrax 80 pound thrust. This has got the iPod link. It's the integrated GPS deal. And I'll explain the pedal and all that in a minute, but um, 24 volt system, really nice. Never had an Ultrax before, but absolutely love it. Don't think I'll get anything different. <laughs> and we'll go, like, we'll go over all the interior stuff here in a minute. I believe that's it. You've got your lights up here so you don't have to put a light pole in. You've got one on each side. And then you've also got your retractable hooks for docking it or whatever. You've got two on each side, one up here in the front and one back there in the back. Um, I guess that's really it for the outside. I went with the black and white. It's also got like a silver in the middle of it. Just kind of like a a base basic color because that way with your vehicle which i got a different truck i don't i'll explain all that in another video but basically the boat can pretty much be hauled by anything and look you know look good because it's not like a red or like a blue or something like that and i'm a big fan of white or black you know just kind of basic colors um looks really good let's go and hop up in the boat and i'll get a little more in depth with these compartments but first things first got our nitro back seat i don't it came with the pedestal or not the pedestal seat i'm sorry the uh, bike seat up front but i don't use it i just keep this one in the back because you never know whoever you take fishing with you may want to sit down i personally don't but you know that's whatever in the back here, it's a triple battery, a three battery system, you know, 24 volts for the trolling motor. And then you got your cranking battery. It also come with this nice tray, which I just keep a socket set and some random tools. Um, 
got your on off switch there and then your charger back in there you got a lot of room back here for expansion you know a lot of room not so much over there but on that side you could definitely put another battery in so that's good got room for changes you could say i'm actually going to use this seat right now uh so here on this side behind the driver's seat this is just kind of my miscellaneous um drawer as well as not necessarily miscellaneous but just extra stuff that i don't like to keep up front um i guess i'll kind of go through here gloves you never know when you need some gloves got some jumper cables whether hopefully i never have an issue if i do i have them or if somebody else needs a jump we got that um got our scale right there just a light just kind of your safety tools um a flare gun some cleaning supplies just some basic stuff like that stuff you want to have in the boat but i want to keep it out of the way that's why i keep it in the back we've also got a uh, cooling scale not a cooling seal but you know i guess that is what it's called to you know differentiate the fish you could weigh them but we've got some rope we've got some grippers our flares here just kind of your miscellaneous stuff but you always want to keep it on deck some of them are legally required um, and then on this side just kind of this is more miscellaneous extra tackle or if i've got a buddy i'm fishing with needs somewhere to throw their tackle that way you can keep the bottom deck over there or the floorboard all clean and not packed full of gear you got two live wells uh on this boat this is kind of your normal your normal live well and then on this side it actually came with these, this little system here to hook your coal tags on. I wanna get some that you can actually put the weight on, but these just came with the boat, so got those hooked up there. I don't know the specs on the live well, or I would tell you guys. It also comes with your, your scale, or not your scale, your measure there. And then, moving on down here, it's pretty cool how they added this. I know Ranger has one. It's like a hole right there that your net goes in, but it's sitting in the floorboard. These nitros are actually kind of a step ahead. Got a little spot back there. You can strap in your net and it's completely out of the way. You know, the seat's behind it. So it's not, you can just tuck the excess of your net down in there. Nothing's in the way. It's actually really nice. I gotta say over Ranger, I've had Rangers, Trackers, Nitro. I feel like the storage system Storage systems are a little better on these nitros than any other boat I've had. Obviously, everybody has their own opinions, but that's that. Getting over to the cockpit here, um, which this came with my trolling motor, but this is like your, this is your little device or whatever to tr control the trolling motor. Uh, we've also got the hot foot, which is interesting. Never used one of those before, but pretty cool. You've got your live wells right there. I keep them open whenever I get in the water, they fill up a little bit. Um, and then you've just got your switches here. You got your bilge, anchor lights, dimmer. All that does is actually, is actually darken your lighting. It's kind of weird. I don't know why that's necessary, but it is what it is. All touch, no, no buttons or anything. And then your live wells, you got your fill and your recirculate. And the horn, which I guess I'm going to do it. It's pretty loud, but jeez, dude. <laughs> and then, you know, your switch and everything and your power. I like how Nitro upgraded to the uh, touch ones. You don't have a switch or anything. <coughs> pretty cool. <coughs> I apologize, guys. And just your gauges. And then I'll go ahead and turn this on. Got the Hummingbird Helix 8s. I'm not gonna talk too much about these because the video is already pretty long, but if I can get them turned on real quick. Any day now. 
Yeah, so you've got your different menus. I generally keep it on, for this, I keep a map and then a small sonar if I'm just mapping areas or if I'm, if we're sitting in a cove or whatever, I'll throw on side scan. Um, basically for the passenger, I don't really use this one that often, but you've got, the thing is, I don't know anything about these hummingbirds. So it's a lot, it's a learning curve for me. I'm used to Lowrance. Shutting down. Okay. Anyways, yeah, it's a learning curve for me. It's something I gotta teach myself. Never, never had hummingbird, but I'm giving it a try. They came with this boat, so I figured I'm not gonna swap them out yet till I try them. Uh, over here, you've just got your passenger rod system. All it is is you got six slots there and a little bungee to tie them down. Handle there, a lot of cup holders in the boat. There's one over there, one there, one there, one there, and one up front. Um, and then you've got little slots for tools and whatever. Surprisingly, <coughs> now unless I was going on like a really long haul, but I went like, it was like an hour to like the other day and they didn't come out. Uh, they stay in there pretty good, so that's cool. Right here on your step up, you've got a cooler and a trash can. Don't really see boats like this. Removable trash can. Not sure why I threw those away. Removable trash can and a cooler. You got a little sandwich spot right there to keep your sandwiches dry, but still cool. That's a really good feature in my opinion. And also, <coughs> you've got your mounting brackets for a, another console for the passenger. I don't know if I'm gonna get one or not. That's kind of unknown at the moment. And then you got your lights there for uh, your deck. But anyways, moving on. I'm not, I'm kind of undecided about the console. I'm not, I don't know what I want to do. Um, but over here on the left, you've got your rod storage. I've got like 13 or 14 rods in here right now. They've all got separate, you can't really see it too well, but they've all got their separate spots down there. And they're really cool that it, that they added that. A lot of, you know, the older boats just kind of have a big box under there. You just, which I've got the rod socks on them anyways, but we'll wait for this till the end. Over here is just kind of more random storage. I can throw more tackle if I'm doing a big, big tournament or something. Uh, but you've just got your basic, uh, you got your fire extinguisher and all the compartments have lights as well. At least in the front, I know. Just push lights. I actually don't know if that LEDs. But uh, you've also got your fire extinguisher. And then this is actually for the hummingbird system. Not sure why they mount it there. Only because if you have stuff in here that's sliding around hitting that. I'm a little confused why they did that. But anyways, moving on. Uh... And they've, they've all got hydraulic uh, things. I don't know, you call them to hold the cabinets up, which is really nice. You just got, I got a couple life jackets, a couple boxes. I've got some paperwork in here and a reel, my seat for up front. And then right here, you've got all, you can hold, it holds all your pedestals and your lights. Pretty cool little system there. And like I said up front, you got your foot pedal, recessed foot pedal, which that is the best thing ever. Um, spot for your tools up here, which these have bungees. The back does not, but these are up a little higher, so they I guess that's why they added that. With this trolling motor, you've got your power switch there. This shows you what you have selected on. That is your, what do you call it? Your autopilot, I believe. <coughs> Not autopilot, but uh, continuous. And then you've got your autopilot there and your anchor, which when you press that, no matter whether it's windy or what, you're in place, you're not moving. It's the greatest thing ever. That's why I like the strong motor so much. And I think it's called a spot lock actually, 
but that's that. And then you got your just your switches right there. Am I another Helix Eight? It is so hot outside right now. Anyways, moving to my center storage. This is where I keep all my tackle. Now, right now, I don't have a whole lot in the boat, <coughs> but just kind of show you guys all that real quick. You've got two more cup holders, which I don't use for drinks or nothing, but you just kind of got your, I've got some markers here, um, Senko band deal there, face masks, more pliers. Like I keep a lot of stuff out of the boat just so I don't have a real heavy load, but uh, we've got our terminal tackle here. I've got three other boxes over there just for terminal tackle, but I don't need all that at once, just need small amounts. So a little bit of everything in there. And then, oh boy, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> oh shoot, there we go. Spinner baits, just kind of the main ones I like to use. I'm not gonna open up all these compartments, but then we've got some line in there, some throwables. And then on the sides here, we actually have eight boxes. I've got them all labeled, square bills, jerk baits. What does that say? <laughs> oh, wraps, Craw uh, cranks, chatter baits, lipless baits, topwaters, jigs. I try to keep everything labeled as good as I can, just so it's easier to find everything. Kind of a couple extra storage boxes here, some swim baits, and then over here, if I can reach it. Just got some frogs and then some skirts. And then just a bunch of soft plastics and different bags and everything here. But Guys, that's pretty much it. That's like a 20 minute video almost, so I wanna go and wrap that up. But let me know what you guys think. That's my setup for the boat. And uh, I just picked this up about a week ago. I'm really looking forward to fishing out of it for the next, well, hopefully long time. But yeah, guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, hope to bring you guys some videos on the water. I'll see you next time.